What's up, ladies and gentlemen, little buddies? Welcome back to Sam and Max, episode two, Situation Comedy. We are here in Bosco's store. He's now dressed as a British guy, um, saying weird things like pip pip and cheerio. Um, we need to have a look around the store because we need to figure out how to um, audition for a TV show so that we can actually get behind the scenes and figure out what's going on with Myra Stump and her hypnotized audience. So I noticed the shaving cream here and I had this idea that maybe we could use it to make Sam um, look like a rabid dog because that's one of the things we have to do for the audition. So let's see if we can get the shaving I cream. I could use a shave. I'll say. Your five o'clock shadow goes clear to your ankles. Pause off, pig, dog! Pig dog. Pig dog. <laughs> the skin buddies rule the streets. <laughs> the skin buddies Blank, is. Bugger, blind, bollocks. <laughs> Little blind did it again. After him. I mean, tally ho. Tally ho. <laughs> tally ho. As in go. <laughs> um, is is that um Jimmy Two Teeth, or is that just like his friends, or do they not even know each other? That's hilarious. So I guess we have to go um grab that but let's just have a we quick look something. quite so a uh, quick look around the store nothing so I, right the now. voice modulator Indeed. requires a million dollars or something like that yeah nothing like a gaggle of security cameras pointed at a guy to make him feel at home i'm comfortable with it because i'm uncommonly photogenic but you would be comfortable with almost anything max <laughs> lottery tickets two dollars i'm oh. feeling lucky already all right let's uh just have a look around the store quickly special Buy one, get one. What a deal! Uh, just triple checking that there is nothing new compared to the last. No thanks. I brought um, lunch today. Last Those set of episodes. Last episode that we ago? played. Are you the same two weenies that were in here a month ago? <laughs> is that referring to like the previous episode? <laughs> With liverwurst. You want some? Absolutely not. What the heck is liverwurst? That sounds like the worst. Okay, we just basically got all a lot of the same things. Um, Bathroom terror level. Red, extreme terror. Yellow. Yes, yes, green. yes. We've heard all of this. Stay out of the loo. It's knackered. It's knackered, really. I thought Max is going to use it again, but okay. Tongues placed on freezer because... I got quite a few tongues that way. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we've heard most of this already. Um, there's a camera in the refrigerator. Wow, okay. That is a little bit extra, Bosco. All right, let's um, let us go see if we can catch the skin buddies with our shaving cream. I say our, but we haven't even like bought it yet. Um, okay, let's. Oh, they they just driving past shooting and everything. Oh, while we are here, there are two things. So, um, thank you very much. I have. Now, I've forgotten how to say your name, but there was someone in the comments uh, on several of my previous videos who pointed out some fun things we can try. Um, I promise I will uh, thank you by name in the description. <laughs> uh, I'm just terrible with remembering names. But uh, first off, apparently if we shoot out the window, interesting things will happen. Henry, somebody's shooting at us again. Oh, gosh. Henry, somebody's <laughs> shooting at us again. So if we shoot out the window every episode, something different will happen? But like um, nothing else we can shoot Tenting at. Sometimes, but I become fond of the little guy. Interesting. Henry, somebody's shooting at us again. This is whole Henry thing. I feel like this episode is just very um, themed around uh, the British aristocracy. Everyone seems to have an English accent this episode. All right, and apparently also if we shoot at the the. Um, one way sign something interesting will happen because we shot it in the dream sequence in the last episode but we didn't try it in real life so oh that ain't good <laughs> well thank you very much for pointing that out to me i would not have tried that if you hadn't said it so thank you very very much um please keep the comments coming seriously um it's just wonderful to see all like these little going, easter eggs that are hiding in the episodes <laughs> The skin buddies can't be stopped. Hey. Because honestly, I, would, I wouldn't find half these Easter eggs on my own. So please definitely keep this kind of stuff coming. All right, let's go get those, those rats. rats. And grab our shaving cream. There they are. Let's get them. How do these <laughs> small wheels move so fast? <laughs> you never catch us. 
The skin buddies can't be stabbed. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, uh, what can we do? What can we do? Oh, we got... Um, okay, we got some obstacles. We... I guess we could ask him to stop. Give it up. Okay, and if we hoot at them? Nothing. Okay. I guess we have to resort to violence then. But that's kind of typical, isn't it? Shoot him, Sam! I'm trying, but they have good reflexes. Huh. Maybe we can get them to crash into an obstacle of some sort? My shots forever. Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay, okay. well, tight, little buddy. that was a lucky accident. I had no idea that was going to happen, but... Good, good thinking, Sam and Max. You thought of it before I did. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we got our shaving cream. Do we have to now um, go and pay Bosco for it? I feel like... Um, I feel like we owe him for that, right? Technically? Or was it, uh, free samples? I can't remember. Today's special. Who goes there? Who goes no, there? It's you lot. Oh, lovely to see you again, good old chap Bosco. Oh, sir. What ho, old beans? Old beans. We want to buy something. Hmm, yes, hmm. Quite so, quite so. Well, I, I mean... And rather, we, we would like to pay for something we already uh, picked up, but you don't seem to want to charge us for it, so I don't understand what all the bother is. Do you have any... Nope. Nope, it doesn't seem like... We'd like that voice modulator. That will be one million a We'll be back. Nope, doesn't... Nothing for us right doesn't now. Doesn't seem like Indeed. we can pay for the, um, shaving cream. Thanks, Bosco. Toodle pip. Tinkety talk. Tinkety talk? <laughs> what are all these things? Like, seriously. I live in the UK and I swear I've never heard anyone speaking like this. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess that is settled. We, we in principle, is that everything we need? We really just need to act like a rabid dog, right? So, um, let's head to the movie Where studio. Where Sam? And, uh, TV, TV studio. studio. Sorry. <laughs> Fine distinction. <laughs> and let's do our audition for... Uh, Midtown Cowboys, I think it was. Right. Hello, Okie dokie! Yeah. Let's do this. This nasty director, see if we can, can convince her can that we, we know what we're doing. Crack at that audition? Fine. Let's take it from the top. Ready, Sam? Show me rabbit. All right, shaving cream, let's do it. Brilliant. Oh, wow. <laughs> diseased. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> First off, I'd like to thank all the little people who... Zip it. <laughs> okay, Max, just realized your dog is walking death, and you'll have to put him down for the good of society. Oh, really? no. You're sad. You're despondent. You're grief-stricken. Now, show me the emotion. Okay. Uh, Boo-hoo? You call that emotion? I've seen Myra show more emotion, and she ought to be declared a national Botox wow. reserve. Grief, I said. Give me grief. Give me uh... grief. As if he doesn't really give us enough grief. <laughs> okay, uh, maybe we could use the tear gas. That'll make him cry. <laughs> I love his cries. It's so hilarious. Despite your immense grief, you must put your beloved companion out of oh. his misery. Okay. Uh oh. What? No, <gasps> no! Cheapers, dude! What? Oh. Idiot. What demonic force possesses you? To <laughs> what do demonic that? force? A demonic force called <laughs> acting, Sam. You should try it sometime. Good thing I had my anti hypnosis helmet built into my head. Uh, or I'd uh, have <laughs> one too many holes in the head. Bravo. Bravo! Such realism. Such authenticity. I was convinced you were actually shooting him. How did you do the sound effects? You don't want to know. The search <laughs> for the Midtown Cowboys is over! Yay! Yeah, you're going to Hollywood! Head to the set next door and we can begin filming immediately. Let's hurry, Sam. We only have 14 minutes and 55 seconds of fame left. <laughs> oh, that is brilliant. Man, what demonic force possessed you to do that? Seriously, though, Max, like just shooting Sam. But it's good now. We know that he's got the hypnosis thing built into his hat. So I guess that means if Myra tries to hypnotize us, we should be safe. 
All right, let's head through to Hollywood, ladies and gentlemen. All right, people, let's get the stage set up. The celebrity host will be here any minute. Oh, right. The crew's working on Myra. Stupid no talent, <laughs> fat face. <laughs> oh, man, she really doesn't like Myra at all. All right, look at us actors on a set. Weren't you just? I think she just defied <laughs> the laws of physics. Sorry, you'd be amazed Wait, how many times you have to on. do that. Things tend to be hectic here. Doesn't bother us a bit. Sam and Max, consummate professional actors, <laughs> reporting for duty. <laughs> you said duty, Sam. <laughs> I knew you guys were right for the show. Speaking of which. Could you perhaps explain the show a bit? Yeah, that okay, might here's the help drill. just a On bit. On Midtown Cowboys, you play a pair of cattle ranchers trying to raise a herd in an apartment in Manhattan. Why would you do that My in an apartment? My uncle Ernie did that, except it was pigs. And not in an apartment. I only see Max, one Max, are you eating the lint? It's yeah. a small herd. You're struggling, okay? <laughs> okay. You've got this landlord, Mr. Featherly, who has a very strict no-cows policy. Devilishly inconvenient. Mm. I begin to see from whence the hilarity sprouts. Yes, Feathery is always barging in, and you try to hide the fact that you have a cow in the apartment. Lots of sight gags, usually something gross winds up happening. Simple enough? Great. Where's the script? Well, there's a slight hitch. The cow ate most of the script, so oh, you're great. going to have to ad-lib the show. Ad-lib? Yes, make it up as you go. Improvise. Well, I guess our regular what life does has given us plenty of practice. For? Don't worry, you'll be working with Philo Pennyworth, who plays Featherly. He's a brilliant actor, classically trained, globe theater and all that. Just set him up to do something funny and he'll handle it from there. Check. Anything else? Actually, yes. We did save one line from the script and it's really important to work it in because it's the product placement that pays for the whole show. One of you will have to save the line. Me, me, <laughs> pick me! <laughs> all right, Max, your line is this. Better get the serious toothpaste. Really? I like it already. How the hell are you supposed to work that line into the show? Really? Let, let's just do a recap, just to make sure There's we understand to everything. This TV business. Give me the lowdown on the show one more time. We don't want to get this wrong, Cowboys you know? is about two cattle ranchers yes. raising a herd in a Manhattan apartment that has a strict no-cows policy. I must Your have... basic visual hijinks and occasional gross-out humor ensue as they concoct elaborate ruses to keep their cow hidden from their landlord, Mr. Mr. Featherly. Yeah. Okay. And Max's line is get the serious toothpaste. Remind face. me what that charmingly peculiar <laughs> line was that you wanted Max to say. Better get the serious toothpaste. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Let's take a break so we can look around the set before we do anything. Just, can you we know. Take five? The Screen Actors Guild will break my knuckles if I say no. So go ahead. Just, you know, in principle, so, hello, we are on TV. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, obviously we're on TV. Um, but just, you know, getting familiar with the set before we do anything. Hi, Mom. <laughs> oh, hello, look at that. He's, ac he's actually right there on TV. Look at that. Okay, um, just, you know, I want to be familiar with the I set. I miss the 70s, when you could get away with stuff like that. Stuff like what? A wheel? Wagon wheel lamp? You can't do that these days? Okay. Got a lampshade. I shouldn't fool with the set while we're not taping the show. Okay, we got a, a damaged wall. Cooking this without looking. Sprucing up. Whatever happened to our can of spray paint? I refuse to answer on the grounds that I may incriminate both myself and a prominent local politician. Oh, say no more. Okay, so we got a broken wall, and then here there's a door saying cooking without looking. And who's never going to be a millionaire? I assume we can, um... Hello? I assume we can go through these doors at a later point. Or I guess we, could, we can try it after we've done, like, maybe uh, one Manhattan, run of the show or something. If there's a leak, it counts as a water view. <laughs> Ah, nature. Wow, that's your nature. And then up here is... Uh... Embarrassing Idol. Is that like, um... I don't know, like Idols? The, the singing show? Competitive horseshoe skipping is a thrilling test of accuracy, strategy, and strength. Even more so if the horses are still attached. Some say that's the only way. What the heck? Jeepers, Max. the Sorai. Who decorated this set? English majors working for peanuts, as usual. <laughs> seriously, though, Max. Wow, you say some seriously What's random that stuff. Thing? I don't know. It was here when we took over the building after the dot com bust. Hang on. That's got Telltale Games logo on it. 
Oh, you know what that is? I swear one of Telltale's first games was like uh, Night at the Poker or something like that. Or Texas Hold'em, I don't know, something. It was like a poker game and they had like all the characters around the table and you could play poker. I wonder if that's a reference, like their first game. Probably is. Would make sense. Hi, Mom. Got a whole television. This way we can shoot a TV show about people watching a TV show. <laughs> uh, and if the show they're watching is the show of themselves watching, oh my goodness. the universe could fold in on itself and explode. Wait, hang on. Off, hang on, gotta think of this, because I swear this is like what happened in One Division, right? Um, yeah, they wa a TV show about people watching a TV show. And the in the TV show, they also watch TV. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Yeah, it, that was confusing. Bessie. Who's Bessie? Is that the cow? Hey, bossy. Hey, bossy. I swear it's Bessie, dude. But okay. Okay, let's, um, we've had a look around the set. Let's give a, our, our first shot at this. Let's start taping. We're as ready as we're ever going to be. Let's start taping yeah, the show. Yeah, I mean, I don't okay. even know how, remember, how what we're going to do. <laughs> landlord's at the door, and you don't want him to know you've got a cow in there. Ready? Action! Probably hiding a cow. Can we can we put the lampshade Let on its head? Light. <laughs> Disguise the cow as a lampshade. <laughs> this would be really hilarious. There we go. Life of the party. Uh, I don't think that's gonna work, but okay. <laughs> oh, Mr. Feather, he's a chicken, obviously. Uh -huh. I know you've got a well, well, well. Who's your guest, boys? Um, Abraham Lincoln, the Prince of Upper Thrombosis, <laughs> a cow wearing a lampshade. You know, our chef actually looks like it would make sense. This is the French chef we hired to satisfy our inexplicable, insatiable craving for omelets and duck a la orange. And frog's legs. I like mine extra crispy. <laughs> oh, a French chef, eh? I love French bread and, and French fries. I went to Gay Paris one time myself, you know. It was back in my army days. Why is the audience laughing at everything? Half of the stuff isn't even funny. <laughs> okay. What are we supposed to do? Ooh, what's that? Cow pie? Oh, that's a turd? I don't care if it is just a prop. I'm not touching that with my bare hands. Huh. And now what do we do? Hey, bossy. Bossy, that's a funny name. <laughs> Can we talk to you, Mr. Featherly? Uh, nice disguise, huh? Genius disguise, eh? What the? First you disguise the cow, then you tell me about <laughs> it? Cut. Whoops. Please don't say cut. That's my job. How am I expected to create oh, goodness. art if you're not even going to try to perpetuate the farce? He's right, guys. You can do better than that. <sighs> Let's get the oh, set back the okay. way it was. Darn it. Okay, well, let's have a think. Um, <clears throat> so clearly disguising it as a chef worked well. But um, can we do anything with the cow pie? He doesn't want to pick it up, right? I don't care if it is just a prop. And the toothpaste line didn't work at all. Uh, what happens if we put shaving cream nah. on this? I thought maybe we could, like, I don't know. <laughs> disguise it somehow. Um, I don't know why I thought that would work. Okay, uh, I don't have any other ideas, so let's go have a look at the other sets. Let's start left to right. Let's start with Embarrassing Idol. I w had no idea that we could actually go through the doors, but it was worth a shot. I just don't see how you can sing. Oh, hello, it's a soda well. poppers. I don't think the public would swallow that. Hey, Sam. How did she get my there? My <laughs> eyes deceive me, or are those our formerly hypnotized former child star acquaintances, the soda poppers? Sweet jellyfish paste on a stick, you're right. What are the odds? Could we find another judge? What about one of those guys? <laughs> hmm, I don't suppose either of you would be interested in being a judge on Embarrassing Idol, the hot new show where we make uncomfortable entertainment out of people's misplaced faith in their own singing ability. Oh, me, me! I promise I'll be completely unbiased in my abuse of the contestants. <laughs> fine, fine. Max Take likes to volunteer for everything. Goody! I get to sing! Welcome back to Embarrassing Idol. Oh wow, the guys, we're just on every TV show now. So say hello to our first contestant, Peepers. <clears throat> Am I blue? Who are you? Can I fly? 
Well, that was a bit sloppy, but I particularly liked how you hit that high note. That always impresses me. I think you'll get my vote. I'm definitely voting for you. After all, you are my brother. Wow. Very <laughs> impressive. You sound almost exactly like a sick cat being dragged through rusty farm machinery. But this is a singing contest, so I think I'll have to vote for someone else. Um, oh. is there anyone else? Max is harsh. So far. But honest, it was a bit weird. Sounds like they need someone else then, right? Okay, I guess we're probably going to volunteer for this as well. Um, <laughs> is this thing on? Let's, uh... Have a look around this set as well. This is so cool, guys. We're gonna be on like every TV show. <laughs> is that your mug? No, it was here when I got here last week. I thought he was gonna Ew. say. I thought he was gonna say that. No, that's not me. <laughs> Peepers lyrics. Can I look at these? <clears throat> sure, take them. I've got them memorized. Am I blue? Who are you? Can I fly? Very impressive. Hmm. So we've got Peeper's lyrics now. Nope. Once used for apples, now used for derrieres. What can we say to Peeper's? Well, well, it's been a while Peepers, since we chatted to them. You underdeveloped former non-psychotherapist. <laughs> what a treat to run across you again. I'm not sure if I ever properly thanked you for hitting me over the head recently. Repeatedly. <laughs> no gratitude necessary. Just doing our jobs. Sure. Oh, goodness. How do you manage to hit those eardrum scarring high notes? If you're implying that I use any artificial vocal enhancements, I don't. What you hear is pure peepers. Which is awful. That's almost exactly <laughs> what I would have said. <laughs> really, though, how do you really, do it? Is there any trick to hitting the high notes like you do? Look, I told Why do you want to know this? Are we going to sing? I don't use any artificial vocal enhancements, and I resent the implication. I have a gift, that's all. You know what? This is what the the voice modulator is for, probably, that Bosco is selling. Really? Is Look, I told you, I don't... Okay, okay, okay. Do you write your own lyrics? Your lyrics have an intriguingly vapid quality. Ouch. Did you write them yourself? I think that's an insult. Of course! Any similarity to lyrics from other wildly popular songs is meant as homage, not theft. <laughs> Mm. I'm dying to know. Is there any truth to the rumors about lip syncing on the old soda poppers TV show? We only did that on the released version. Oh goodness. Wow. So apparently last episode, if I had really pushed him, he would have sung the song, but it's too late to do that now. Um, unfortunately. But um would have been nice to hear him actually sing the soda poppers song. I'll leave you to whatever it is you're doing over here. Good luck. Whatever it is you're doing. All right, let's finish looking around the set. Fascinating monitors. They're really not that fascinating, to be honest. Acid base got a What's shark in it. Water? It's acid, brain freeze. Don't you ever watch the show? Uh, no, this is my first time, honestly, guys. Hey, can I try my pipes out on this thing? Oh, Go right ahead. Whoa, Frankly, whoa, whoa, whoa. we can use all the contestants we can muster. <laughs> I didn't mean to volunteer, <laughs> but here we go. Welcome our next contestant, Sam. It's a little awkward just suddenly Hello. finding yourself like on stage. I song I call. I call? Hmm. Busted Down Hound Dog Blues. Busted Down Hound Dog Blues. I said it better. <laughs> I am... In terrible torment. Howling at that drippy old honk of moon. Oh, jeepers, Sam, you need some help. Um. Uh, my girlfriend's cheating. You know, let's just be depressing, right? That's the whole point of the song, right? She's at brunch today with some baboon. And. Me. <laughs> Road to someday, bits of me are strewn. I have no idea what we sang about, and but let's hear from our judges. This is not gonna go well. Your wobbly tenor is way better than Peeper's shrill squawking. Your stylings are quite interesting, but I noticed you never really hit a high note. Peeper's is still getting my vote. You sing beautifully, and your lyrics are enchanting. But Peeper's is my brother, so I pretty much have to vote for him. 
Okay. Aww. Remember, folks, on Embarrassing Idol, the decision of the judges must be unanimous. Stay tuned for more exciting action after this. And we're cut. It's okay to sing again if you want to, by the way. Could improve your chances. So, I think I see what's going on here. We have to somehow win this competition. I don't know why, but um, we're going to have to convince the judges basically to vote for us. And it seems like Max is going to vote for us because he's our, he's our little buddy. Of course, he's going to vote for us. But um, the other two are going to be more interesting. So, <clears throat> look at them now. Wizard is going to vote for his brother no matter what. So, we have to somehow convince him not to vote for his brother. Or we have to mess things up for his brother. Specs wants us to sing a high note. So I think we need that voice modulator because I don't think Sam can just do that on his own. Because he was asking earlier about how you do it. And um, I get the names confused. Peepers was saying, um, are you accusing me of using a voice modulator? So I guess that means we have to use one, basically, <laughs> is what that means. But uh, yes, we will leave that here for today. This is really interesting because... it. There's another two sets we still have to explore and we have to do the scene on um, Midtown Cowboys and we have to win Embarrassing Idol. So this is quite interesting. There's like a bunch of game show stuff we have to win, which is actually like a really nice change of pace because the last um, episode of Sam and Max was mostly just walking around town and doing things in town. But this is going to be interesting because it seems like based on how many rooms there are, might be most of the episode is on the TV sets, which is really, really interesting. Nice change of pace. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. So I'll see you, see you later, later, later. Wow, I didn't warm up before walking onto stage, clearly. Uh, I will see you guys next time on Sam and Max Culture Shock. See you guys then. Bye for now.